Norway. Okay. So, I was watching the movie yesterday and I cried so much at the end. Yeah. It was so yeah. touching. Yeah. But I remember, I, I just wondering, do you remember your very first meeting with Paul? I remember we were at a table read and I just remember this really like good looking guy walking in. And what's so funny is that my first impression of him was so completely different from, it was so not a reflection of who he really was, you know, or what he really was like because Paul was like, he just was, he had so many layers and he had so many interests and was so much more than just, you know, his beauty. But at first all I saw was his beauty walking in, his, his outward beauty. So how was it for you to, to watch the movie the first time? It was really hard. I, yeah. I knew that it was going to be hard, so I watched it um, with my sister and uh, First it was like, I was able to lose myself in the movie because he's, he's so good in it and I'm so proud of him and, and, and happy that, that ultimately we finished it and the fans are gonna be able to watch it. But then certain scenes, I just lost it completely. Especially scenes where like we talk about the first film or scenes where we talk about coming home. I just like, or like the, you know, the tribute. Um, those were scenes where I really just broke down. And then you were working with his brother? Right? Yes, his, uh, his brothers uh, helped complete, you know, little little bits here and there. How was that? How was that working with him? I mean, coming coming back to set after after what happened was really hard because he wasn't there anymore, and I was so used to like his energy. Like, if you met him, like you know that he was always so like alive and happy and like loving towards everyone. So then to not have that, and then to have someone who looks you know, very, yeah. that, so sometimes that was really hard, but then I, I was also really grateful that they were there because it must have been very hard for them as well. And yet it was an act of love because they were helping, you know, us finish this film and yeah. for Paul's work to be seen, so. So all these guys, it must be, I did, you didn't have that many scenes that were filled with action and testosterone yeah. this time, yeah. but when you look at them, they're so big and so macho, big. but there yeah. must be, Soft they're, on the inside. They're super <laughs> sweet. Yeah, they, it's so funny because like Jason, I was really surprised because I've met Jason a couple of times and he's always super nice and like he's like a bloke, you know. And yet he's so intimidating in this movie. When I saw it, I was like, I'm scared of you. And Dwayne is just every time he just gets bigger and bigger. Um, but he is like the nicest guy, and and Vin's like my big brother. And Dwayne told me that he watched The Bachelorette actually a few years he, ago. That's so funny. Yeah. Do you have any other secrets you can spill about I, that? About bit? that? No, nothing. No dirty secrets about the boys. No. So, are you? Do you like driving cars? Driving I fast do. And stuff I do. Like I like driving fast. I think it's a it's a nice release. Um, but I have a baby now, so I have to like not be reckless. My biggest thing is not being on the phone and like getting being distracted when I'm in the car. That's the hardest thing for me. So how do you wind down at it after dance set? Meditating, I, th I think, is really helpful for me, and also running, working out, and like leaving my phone in another room. I think is one of the best things for me, and not constantly being on it. That's a good tip. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. It's great you. Nice again. meeting you. It's yeah. like it's it's a completely different movie. It's a completely different story. The world is completely different. How it would is. you say you changed since the start? Mia or like me? No, you as me. a person. Oh, yeah. when, I, well, when I started, I was very, I think, you know, I was 19, going to school, like very sort of type A and like thinking I had everything in control. And now I think, especially now that I'm a mom, I realize nothing's in control. Like I'm a little more chill as I get older. And so I th I'm much happier now than I was. To you, when you lost him, was it obvious that you should finish the movie? No, I don't think it was obvious to anyone. I think. We all took a break, and um, Ron Meyer called each one of us, and and it was sort of undecided what was going to happen. Um, I am very happy that they decided to, to continue it because once I saw the film, you know, Paul's so good in it, um, and sort of the best I think he's been in in these movies. So I'm so happy that the fans get to see that and the world gets to see it. So it would have been a waste. To yeah, it, it would have. It would have. It's the last thing he did, so it should be seen.